Hi guys, welcome to my Greenwich Village apartment. Come on in. one home office apartment here in Greenwich Village. I've lived here for a year and I just signed my lease so I'm here for another year. I love it because I have this huge long hallway that allows me to honestly store extra things. I've got this big old puppy right here with tote bags and just other things and then I have my mirror right here which is perfect for like that last minute check the outfit how are we doing keep my umbrellas there you know the important stuff now come on a little further in I absolutely love this moment right here this is a beautiful bench we have some faux fur on top with these pillows mirror I just think it's so cute it's great for when I get back taking off my shoes if I'm putting on my shoes or for the sake of this video we're keeping these shoes on but I love it I think it's so inviting when my guests come right in these shelves <laughs> wow when I walked into this apartment when I was touring I couldn't believe all the shelving that was already put in here it's been fun for me and I, I feel like I'll never be done honestly with these shelves I'm constantly adding new things um, but a couple things to point out I was very attached to my Volvo XC60 my first car ever and I literally sobbed when I sold it and my dad recently brought me my old license plate which I thought was super sweet I'm from Florida so that's my little Florida moment um, and then here's actually a ticket from our sold out gals in the go live show in New York City last year that my brother put in a frame for me for Christmas which I thought was so sweet over here I started collecting matchboxes when I moved to New York City it's so fun to kind of take a look at all the different restaurants I ate at and a lot of um, restaurants here in New York do give you these matchboxes and for Christmas last year my boyfriend I'm very hard to shop for he's like what do I get you he found this awesome frame on Amazon I think he looked up matchbox frames and it's been so fun I, I basically am almost finished so I'm like should I get another one not sure gotta have some moss balls they just bring so much life to my apartment you'll hear me saying that a lot because my apartment's super neutral I wanted very warm comfort so I need to bring some greenery in <laughs> this is my little my minor frat boy area this is I need to have somewhere where I'm putting alcohol and that's it and then over here we have some other little things my friend Katie Bellotti actually drew this this is called martini girl and I'm so obsessed with her again some more greenery for some life and then I have some fun Jonathan other pieces one of our posters for gals on the go this is one of our merch items which is fun to have up picture of me and Ryan it's just been so fun to kind of customize these shelves but enough about my shelves let's walk in to my apartment welcome welcome I absolutely love it this is my kitchen where I cook sometimes like two to three times a week which for me is pretty good live in New York City and there's so many amazing restaurants to eat at obviously I actually love this teal backsplash in the kitchen I thought I wanted a super neutral kitchen but I don't know it actually brings some life <laughs> and got out of my Keurig kitchen's pretty self-explanatory but one of the biggest things I do in the kitchen is take a ginger shot so do you guys want to take a ginger shot with me I think you do cheers mmm that feels great Woo! we're gonna recycle that bad boy I'm wide awake now you guys <laughs> okay now we're gonna get on into the living room so for my apartment I was very inspired by the one hotel in South Beach one hotels in general I just love their interior design I love how I feel and I honestly wanted my apartment to feel like a hotel my Wi-Fi name is literally Hotel Danielle so that was my goal there and I think I did a pretty good job so I have these bar stools here which is really nice if I'm cooking and my boyfriend comes over he can pop a seat or if I'm working and I just want somewhere else to work I love these bar stools they're from all modern and I think they're super cute apparently I put them on wrong but I don't really care I can still sit in them you know and then over here we have another moment this is a storage bin from Wayfair and I love it because I just put all the stuff that doesn't fit in my kitchen in here like I'm not even going to open it but you know like my electrolyte powders extra water bottles stuff like that this mirror hack this is a hack West Elm kids has amazing items and this is a mirror from West Elm kids so I absolutely love this here is a lamp that's really nice I actually have a changing color light bulb in it from Amazon and it's so nice because at night I'll put like a red light if I'm trying to relax this lamp itself is from anthropology I think it really just kind of it almost like separates the two spaces like this is the kitchen this is the living room now on to the true living room I was so excited when I moved into this apartment and took the measurements I was like I can get a huge couch 
which I've always wanted. So this is the West Elm Hampton sofa. My dream to have an L-shaped couch. You will find me in that L-shape a lot. It's very relaxing. This coffee table here brought from my last apartment. It's from Pottery Barn. I love it because it has a ton of storage and under there is where I keep all of my candles, like literally in all these baskets, but it does its job. Moss balls, they are from Ballard Designs and whenever I have friends come over, they literally just wanna feel these, <laughs> feel these balls. But <laughs> you know what? More power to them. So this is where a lot of relaxation happens. Here's my table where I eat, where I work, where pretty much anything happens because it's my only table here. I love it. I usually try to have some sort of fresh flowers here because it is pretty plain. I've thought about getting artwork above it, but then I thought it looked weird with my TV, so here we are. This is from Crate and Barrel. The chairs are from Crate and Barrel. I've had these since my last apartment as well, and I refuse to get rid of them. So I just, I just love these chairs. They're almost like director's chairs, but a little lower. Very comfortable. They're great. And then over here, if you guys remember from my last apartment, I had this media console. This is from One Kings Lane. I wanted a ton of oak accents. Like I want a neutral with an oak accent in my apartment. So that's what we did. These are great. So I had this in my bedroom before because it couldn't fit in my living room, but now I actually can have it under my TV and be a true media console. Coffee table books, baskets underneath to store, tech things, podcast mics, cameras, the whole nine yards, TV. It's, you know, self-explanatory. Over here is my outfit of the day mirror. I had such a controversy when I got this mirror and put it over here because a lot of people felt it should be elsewhere. My table should have been over here, but guess what? I decided to keep it over here and I'm really happy with it. I think it bounces off light and makes my apartment really bright and it also opens up the space more. So this mirror is anthropology. These lanterns here are from Crate and Barrel and I have them on a timer, so at night, they turn on and it's a really lovely atmosphere. So this is the living room. I do wanna also lastly point out my rug. This rug and the one in my bedroom is from Miss Amara online. They have the most amazing rugs. This is a new rug to my apartment and it's so soft on the feet. I just love it. Now on to my bedroom. This is where I must relax and pretty much only relax. So here's my bedroom. It really just makes me so happy. Right here is my dresser. This is from One Kings Lane. Love it, it can store a ton. I keep like my workout clothes, socks, all the goods, t-shirts, stuff like that. Here I have my everyday jewelry. Um, it's really nice to just kind of visually see everything. This mirror, this is the Anthropology Primrose mirror. It's the same one I have in my living room, but it's a smaller one that you can kind of put, you know, on a vanity dress or something like that. My rug, Miss Amara. I love this, it's so fun. I used to have like matching rugs and I was like, you know what? I want a rug that's soft, that when I put my feet on the ground when I first wake up, it feels good on my feet. Little things like that have just elevated my life. So this rug is from Miss Amara. I have this little vase with a faux olive plant. Again, love how it brings some life into my room because my room is super neutral. Like I've had people tell me to add color and this is this is the most color I'll add and I just feel serene, okay? So over here, my beautiful, beautiful bed. This is from CB2, it's the facade bed. Queen size actually, which is amazing that I can fit it. I have a Casper mattress I do have to shout out because it's so comfortable whenever I have friends come over, they like for a pregame or something, some of my guy friends will even be like, that looks like a comfortable bed. Just being so serious and it makes me happy. Bedding is Brooklyn Inn. I love Brooklyn Inn, everything to the day I die. Um, nightstand is from Wayfair. I have one on either side. I used to have smaller ones, but I wanted something with storage because I'm just always looking for more storage. So these are great. Again, another like oak accent. This um, lantern here I have on either side. This is from Ikea and I love it. It's um, awesome too because I have this rope extension cord. It doesn't come with the lantern, but you can add the light bulb at that and plug it in and I think it just makes it look a little bit more natural. Have another faux olive plant right here. There's actually little faux olives on it, which is really funny, um, but I think it's really nice because I used to have a huge green plant and I thought it really overpowered space. This one is nice, tall, skinny. Looks great in this corner. Um, I got new pillows since my last apartment, so um, these, I added these, which I really like. They're like a taupey color. I had these before, and then I added this one in the front that I think really pulls it all together. And right over here, I have these two storage bins. They're from Wayfair as well. I really like them because I think they kind of go with the vibe, and honestly, I just need more storage. So it's really nice, because like I was saying, I get dressed in here, and I can just easily open this up, and I can have my belts there, my hats, 
it's just really nice. I keep like bags in here. It's just a good situation. So that's my bedroom. And then I also have a mirror right here just to do, you know, cause my closet is right there. I keep like my pants and sweatpants and stuff in that closet. So if I'm getting dressed, I can just look right here. My apartment's full of mirrors. I just, I like it. I think they really open up a space. And that's the bedroom. Right here is my laundry room, which is a huge blessing to have in-unit washer dryer here in the city. I'm very, very grateful for it because I've come to love doing laundry. It's been a fun time. Here in my bathroom, I love it. It's an all-white bathroom. It's really nice to just get ready in here, do my skincare, all the things. A couple things I want to point out. I got this beautiful travertine tray off of Amazon. And I love it because it's not where I keep all my perfumes, but these have kind of been my recent perfume rotation. So it's been nice to just kind of see, oh, let me do that. I've been into mixing perfumes. It's been kind of fun. Have this Joe Malone um, scent diffuser, which is really nice because you gotta have your bathroom smelling good. Sink, shower, of course. I try to keep my shower curtain open because I just, it makes it feel a little bit more open in here. Byredo soaps, they're my favorite. The suede scent is my absolute favorite. And then there's actually more storage behind here in this medicine cabinet, which is needed, clearly. <laughs> That's pretty vulnerable to show you guys that, but we did it. Um, and then lastly, we've got a couple more things. This is my little gallery, my two pieces of artwork here. I have this, which is actually a photo of me. A lot of people have been complimenting it that I've been coming to my apartment lately, just thinking I bought it online. And I was like, I guess it does look like I got it online. It's a picture of me in Santorini, Greece. Um, my friend Delaney took it. I was diving in. Here's the pool. It was our view. It was insane. And so every time I look at this, I just think of how serene I was in that moment. It was really nice. This piece right here was, is a gray Malin piece. I love it. I had it in my last apartment. It was above the couch. And it says off the grid, but these huge balloons, a plane. It gives travel. It gives gals on the go. My podcast I have with my best friend, Brooke. It just puts me in a good mood and it brings me joy. Now, for probably my favorite part of my apartment, welcome to my Hannah Montana closet. I got so lucky. When I was touring apartments, I was looking for one bed apartments and this was a one bed with a home office. And I was like, oh, okay, let's give it a go. There's no windows, so that's a little scary. Walked in, these shelves were already put in. I did not put these in. So I was like, okay, shoes, bags. I just, I saw it, I had the vision and my other closet is a little bit smaller. So I thought, this was perfect. So I've got all of my boots, my bags. I tried to like make them pretty. It's, it's really fun. I literally feel like I'm in Hannah Montana's closet. Here I have all of my dresses. I tried to organize by color. You know, we got the blues, the oranges, the pinks, all of our Gals in the Go live show outfits. I, I have to keep, I can't, I can't let go of them. So, um, and then down here I have all of my tops and then over here are my blazers. And this is fun too. This is an impressions vanity. It came all together. You can buy just their mirrors too if you want. I love it. It's so great for get ready with me. It's TikToks, the whole nine yards. I love sitting here playing some Drake, getting ready for the night. It's it puts me in the best mood. And yeah, and then here's the the OG Alex IKEA drawers. I feel like that's so OG YouTube to have these Alex drawers, but honestly, I just needed more storage. So I've got, you know, lip products, my makeup brushes, stuff like that in here. And yeah, so that's my closet. I want to give a huge shout out to Sierra Belanger Interiors. She helped me design my last apartment and she helped me design this apartment and I'm forever grateful to her. She really helped my vision come to life. I love collaborating with her. I'll have her information linked down below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this apartment tour. I had so much fun and I hope to see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.